Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 197, Antibody Structure and Function. Briefly, describe the antibody structure. When looking at the picture of the antibody, remember the letter V stands for variable and this is the amino terminal. The letter C stands for constant and this is the carboxy terminal. H stands for heavy chain and L stands for light chain. So for example, VH would be variable heavy chain, VL would be variable light chain, CL would be constant light chain, and CH would be constant heavy chain. So one antibody will have two of these, one on each arm. The heavy chain contributes to both FC and the FAB fraction, whereas the light chains only contribute to FAB fraction. What part of the antibody does an antigen bind to? Antigen binds to the variable part of light and heavy chain. This is located on the FAB fraction and there is only one antigenic specificity expressed per B cell. Where on the antibody does complement bind? Complement binding can occur on the FC portion of the antibody, but it only happens for antibody IgG and IgM. Describe all the features of the FC portion. As we mentioned already, FC portion is the constant portion. They have a carboxy terminal. There is complement binding that also occurs here in some isotopes such as IgG and IgM. They have carbohydrate side chains and this is the area that determines the isotype. So this is basically the area that decides what immunoglobulin it's going to be. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.